I take a lot of slack from people saying that you're a sellout. You know what? I'm not a sellout. I'm an American. I'm yeah! American. And at the end of the day, united we stand and divided we will not fall. I have a few gay friends and they're over 18. I have no problem with it. And I, once again, if you're 18 and over, that's your decision. That's your decision. But do not push it on my children. Because kids can't even run out and brush their teeth. They don't want to put on good or they don't want to wipe their own ass the right way unless you show them the right way. Now all of a sudden you're going to teach my children how to be a sexual predator? And I'm going to say that because most are. In all their facts are showing that you were not created yes, by God. That we keep, that they say that we were created by monkeys. And you I, believe I that? To a certain extent, yeah. Because I look That's in the amazing. mirror. Because I look in the mirror and I sure damn look like a gorilla. Have you ever seen a light skinned gorilla? Uh, you're looking right at one. <laughs> <laughs> People think I'm African American and I have 1% in me. Uh, you know. Interviews about Cyborg when she's fighting next. She said she probably wanted to fight in July, but it seems like it didn't happen. Um, I think it's just uh, all in uh, Man and Noon's uh, corner right now. If she wants to accept the fight, the fight will happen. Chris wants to fight. She's been training. Just Amanda. Amanda's the champion. She says she wants to be. Uh, and she says she wants to fight Chris. Put your mouth uh, where your words are. She has surgery. Matt Hamill is slow. He's like a big slow ox. That's one thing, too, that I've noticed. Uh, he's deaf, so he has a soft head. And you hit him with more and more shots. Uh, what? I like it. Um, you hit him with soft shots because they're equilibrium. They don't have no equilibrium. Matt Hamill has a soft head because he has no equilibrium. That's the weakness he has. To be honest, I don't know what a soft head. <laughs> even, even the people don't understand. They go, is soft head good or bad? <laughs> I, Tito Ortiz. Do I solemnly affirm that I will support your pen? I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly affirm. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of California. And the, co the Constitution of the State of California. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith. And allegiance. And allegiance. To the Constitution of the United States. To the Constitution of the United States. California, to the Constitution of the State of California. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. That I will well and faithfully. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. About which I am about to enter. About the, that, I'm with, that I'm about to enter. As a council member. As a council member of Huntington Beach. Thank you, Matt, very much. Council Member Ortiz. Thank you. Hear me now? Great. Um, I'd like to appoint my, my commissions and uh, committees and task force. Uh, of course, for uh, community service commissions, uh, Nancy Buchos, uh, Financial Commission, Casey McEwen. Investment Advisory, Casey McEwen. Public uh, Works Commission, uh, James Mikulski, or Mikulski, excuse me. And uh, Home Task Force is uh, Betty Flynn. Um, City Clerk, I don't believe that you can appoint one person to two commissions. Is that correct? I don't believe that they can serve on two, um, two committees at the same time. I'll go ahead and let Mike Big provide an answer there. Yeah, that's correct, Tito. You need to, yeah. Yeah. I'd just like to register my formal disappointment in uh, Council Member Ortiz and Peterson ignoring the mayor's letter, asking them to wear masks at this meeting. I feel that it puts us at risk, and I'm just very disappointed that that's the position that you're taking. Thank you. Council Member Dilglaze. Last thing, um, Mr. Kalmick, uh, when we're at Veterans Day here, um, you had no problem putting your mask on, but as soon as the cameras turned off, you took your mask off amongst a bunch of older veterans that were there. So That is a your false face. statement, and that is out of line. There is picture and documented proof of that. You, okay, you okay, you thank you on. both. Oh, he thank wants to you. Me. Oh, sorry. Um, 
Council Member Moser, I, I have you again. Okay, thank you. Sure. All right, um, Council Member Moser, need to vote, and Mayor Pro Tem Ortiz, can you lock your vote in? All right. So the motion on the floor fails three four, with Council Members Delglaze, Ortiz, Posey, and Kalmick voting no. Okay, so now, Mr. Kalman. All right. Are you sure about that? Wait, no, wait, no, I know I have. I, I thought that was actually for the fire. Or is that no, for that. The no, that's for the one you seconded. That's the so. one that you seconded. Okay. Okay. Would you like to change your vote to an affirmative? Okay. All right. Got it. First meeting. I understand. <laughs> You're good. That's right. So uh, the correct vote count is 4-3. So the items approved 4-3 with council members Dale Glaze, Posey, and Kalmick voting no. What up, council? My name is Chad Kroger. I come to you with a big request. I love the Vans off the wall skate park here in Huntington. And I frequently go there to rip on my scooter with JT. What up? Yeah, so we love to scoot at the park, but lately our enthusiasm has taken a hit. Some of the regulars at the park have turned on me and JT. Uh, these two eighth graders, Brady and Taryn, and sometimes their older brother DJ call us handlebar jockeys and P-words. We've asked them to stop, and they won't. Yeah, and we don't feel like anyone should be prejudiced against for what they choose to ride. It's unchill and, frankly, un-American. These groms have really messed with my confidence as a rider, too. So since these kids won't listen to us, we think we know someone they will listen to. Former UFC light heavyweight champion and current Huntington Beach City Council member, Tito Ortiz. Tito, you're the Huntington Beach bad boy. These groms are on your turf, so technically they're under your jurisdiction. Yeah, and we would greatly appreciate it if you'd come down to the park and rectify this sitch. We, we know the council has given you a lot of flack for not wearing a mask, but we have not forgotten that you have a super important skill set. We don't want you to ragdoll these eighth graders like they're Ken Shamrock, but we would like you to at least pose the threat of violence until they back off. Yeah, we just want to scoot in peace. We're going to go down on Wednesday if you can come. Thanks, dudes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I also got an opportunity to uh, be on the... Um, was it uh, Pacific uh, Events Committee with Bob Douglas. Uh, Chris C was on there with Forest Club. Uh, of course, any people want to see information um, on this uh, event for Thanksgiving, it's Easter Egg Hunt. They're doing via uh, drive-in. They talked about uh, the rebuilding of the bridges here on uh, the islands, um, Admiral Drive. They said it should be done by January 22nd, or excuse me, January of 2002. And then they're going to uh, work on for the Humboldt uh, Bridge, and they should work into mid to late 2002. Um, then the Davenport Bridge of uh, 2024, and then they'll be working on the Gilbert Drive Bridge on 2025. So yes, right now we have five in attendance raising their hands, so I will call Chad Kroger to make a public comment. Yo, can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. <clears throat> what up, Council? My name is Chad Kroger. As many of you know, I spoke at the last Council meeting with my buddy JT. What up? Yeah, we're the dudes who called in because we've been getting bullied for riding scooters. We pleaded with the pro tem mayor and former UFC light heavyweight champion Tito Ortiz to come offer us physical support at the skate park where our lives have become terrorized by two sadistic eighth graders, Brady and Taryn. Tito. We thought you would be there last Wednesday. You didn't show. Brady and Taryn ripped into us for three hours nonstop. Yeah, they called us narcs and the G word. I had to stifle back tears as I scooted through the bowl. Tito, can I ask you something? Where were you? Okay, Tito, since you won't commit to physically being there, we're at least hoping that you would back our new legislation that will raise awareness about the effects of smack talk and scooter riders. This landmark proposal could end scooter bullying forever. Tito, what will you do?
Uh, are you abstaining? Um, council, council members are not, um, do not reply to public comments at this time. Oh, legit. Okay. For sure. That, we didn't know that. So we we're just kind of hanging in the wind. No, no problem. All right. Well, thanks. Later. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Moving on to council member comments. Um, give everybody a ch chance to, okay. Council or Mayor Pro Tem Ortiz. So I have a little comment about uh, our public comment we had uh, earlier with the two kids that called about the skate park. And I just want to, when kids ask for stop bullying, um, I'm all in for it. How can I help? And it's not on an aggressive side of being mean to another kid. It's more of finding a happy medium between both of them where they can work together on the same playing field. And that's how it should be. Um, so I'm giving an office to these kids. If you're still watching, uh, email me. The time, and I'll be there on Friday or Wednesday. I'll come down to the park, and I'll talk to all you kids. And let's just have a happy meeting between and uh, make this a good playground for all you guys at the skate park. So, once again, I hope they can watch this and email me and give me a time, and I'll be there on Wednesday, and I'll come by and talk to all you guys. And let's just all be friends, man. Huntington Beach is a beautiful city. Let's come together and make some good, good happen out of it. And I just wanted to say that comment just because I want to make sure those kids – I'm not leaving them out hanging. Um, it was random last one or Wednesday prior uh, was one of the reasons why, but I would like to just send that offer out to them. Um, okay, um, thank you. Um, Council Member Posey. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm happy to go meet with uh, Chad and JT with you too, Tito. Mm -hmm. So count me in, bro, I'm there. Awesome, um, thank you. I'm calling, or I'm gonna. I have a whole lot of stuff I, I I did this week, but I only really want to talk about Wound Walk. And I'd like to turn the meeting over now to Mayor Pro Tem Tito Ortiz. He would like to make an announcement. So, uh, <clears throat> who is my concern, uh, Mayor Kim Carr, City Manager Oliver Chi? I would like to inform you that I am resigning from my position as Mayor Pro Tem, City Councilman with the city of Huntington Beach, effective June 1st, 2011, excuse me, 2021. I ran for this position with hopes to better my community, work on my constituents, and give them a voice, making our beautiful city safe and clean, and to ensure a bright future for my children. I was under the notion that I was in a bipartisan position and that we all had a common goal that our city and our constituents could have to put it frankly, that's not the case. From day one, I was sworn in and I was met with hostility and judgment. Being in a, a public figure, nothing is, is new. However, to be sole focus of character assassination each and every week with multiple news stories and leaked personal information, all in which were in hopes to slander and defame my name. I thought I was up to this job but I knew I had over 40,000 constituents who were there counting on me. As of recent, the attacks against me have moved into involved my family. I now feel for their safety is in danger. To put it simply, this job isn't working for me. I'm sorry to let down many of my supportive HB constituents, and I pray they'll understand. Sincerely, Tito Ortiz. At this time, I'd like to thank you, Michael Gates, for what you've done and what you continue to do. Eric Peterson, thank you very much. Chief Harvey, amazing job as a chief. HBPD, Huntington Beach uh, Fire Department. I'll continue to be a resident here in Huntington Beach. I've tried as hard as I possibly could, but with my children, safety becomes a matter. I'm a father, and I'm gonna protect my children. Once again, I did as best as I possibly could do, and I hope I didn't let anybody down. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Thank you. Um, with that, I would like to make a motion for a 10 minute recess. Second. Second. So let's recess for 10 minutes.